Hello friends, welcome to Cool ID Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install MySQL server on Windows 11. Let's begin. First, open your favorite browser and type download MySQL in the search box press enter. After that, you will see the results. Here is the website www.mysql.com. Open this in the new tab. And you can see this is the Microsoft official download page. If you come downside, you will have this link MySQL Community GPL Downloads. Click on this link. After that, you will be redirected to new page. And here we have to click on this link MySQL Community Server. Okay, we are going to download this one. Click on it. And then you will see a new page. Here we have some details. This is about MySQL Community Server 9.1.0, right? So the first drop down has three different versions. So we are going to proceed with the very latest one. Also, we have the options in this drop down for the different operating systems. Like we are going to proceed for the Microsoft Windows. And here is the link. Windows X 64, 64 bit MSI installer. Size is not big. And just in front of that, we have the download button. Simply we have to click. Make sure you are connected with the internet. After that, you will be redirected to the new page. And this is asking to create a login. Asking to sign up or a login if you have already account, right? If you don't want to create the account, simply click on this link and the downloading will start. And wait for the complete downloading of this installer. Once it is done, simply go to the downloads folder and do the double click on this installer. And here you will get the first installer screen. Now we can click on the next button. And this, the second screen is for the end user license agreement, all the information about the terms and condition and the license agreement given in this box. If you want to read it, please go through it. And then check this box, click the next. And here we will get the option setup type. Typical custom and the complete. Typical is just like for the recommended for the most of the users. And the custom you have to select the features, right? And the complete, all features will be installed at one go. Proceed with the complete. Now click on the install button. Okay, then you will get a pop-up box from Windows. Simply click on the yes button and proceed for the installation. Okay. Once it is done, you will get this kind of uh, screen like uh, the checkbox is OK, click finish. And then again, you will get a pop up box, click yes. And you will get this kind of window MySQL configurator. Click next. This is the data directory. So the installation will be done at this place and the intermediate data will be stored by the installer on this path. Click next. This is the type and networking because the configuration type means if you have a development computer with limited resource means limited uh, RAM or the hard disk, right? If you have very powerful system, so you have a maximum RAM and the maximum hard disk, so you can proceed with the different configuration type. Right now, I have, I have simple laptop, so I am going with the development computer. Rest of the data will be as it is. Click next. Now, here at this place, you have to create a admin ID or password. So you can simply choose any root user and the password for that. Okay, now proceed to the next. Here, we can create additional user account, like you can give different kind of role to different users, right? Let's create a one user. So simply give a user 
as per the role you want to assign to this user. So randomly I am going to choose a name like user1. Okay, in the host, leave this thing as it is. And the role, you can click on this drop down, then you will find different kinds of role. Okay, predefined role. If you select any one of them, then that user will get the access under that defined role. Right, so I have selected DB admin, meanwhile. And now give the password for this particular user. So I have given a very simple password. That's why showing the strength weak, but you can set a very a strong password. Okay, so one user is added. You can add more users as per different role. So far, so good. Let's click on the next button. And here you will get the other options like Windows service. So options are by default checked and your Microsoft SQL Server will be set up as a Windows service by default. You don't need to do anything. Click next. Sample permission, click next. At this place, we will do a checkbox. So the installer will clear, create a two demo database for us. Sakila and Vault. When you click next, you will get on this page, apply configuration. So all these configuration will be applied with the by installer one by one and you will get a tick green tick mark just against the configuration so once all tick marks will be green we can proceed further okay it's done now we can click on the next button okay now finally we get this kind of message configuration complete click on the finish button okay it's done so the first part is completed now we can proceed to the installation of the MySQL client means MySQL workbench, right? So go to the same browser page from where we have just downloaded the SQL server installer. Click the back button and again go to the back button and we have to reach at this place, okay? Where we have many links, right? Among this link, we have one of MySQL workbench link. Click on it and you will get this kind of page. So if you want to download the workbench for the different kind of uh, operating system, you can select in the drop down and you can proceed here. Like click on the download to download the MSI installer for the workbench. Here we go. Again, you will get the same page. Okay, we are not going to sign up. Simply click on the link to download the installer. Okay, so downloading is finished. Now we can launch the workbench community installer. This way you will get the installer screen. Click next. And this is the default location. If you have a, a disk space issue, you can change it. Click next. Go with the complete installation. And this is this installation folder. And click next and the installation will begin. Okay, then you will get a pop-up box from the windows. Click yes and this progress bar will start and the background process copying the files on your system okay it's done and now you can see wizard complete and now launch the workbench here we go so this is the welcome mysql workbench screen right when you see here on the left hand side there's a local connection found and detected right when you click on this you will get this pop-up box like connection warning few things and there's a warning like this workbench is not compatible with the very latest uh, mysql server version no worries you will get a basic features you can access the database easily you can manipulate the data effectively no worries click on the continue anyway button and you will come inside finally you will see on the left hand side inside the navigator tab there are three database sakila sys and the world now you can perform query so simply select the database and just click on this sql icon okay so when you get this query window launched so here in this editor you can simply type the select queries Suppose you want to access any database, so you can set the current database with the help of use command 
or you can simply use the database name dot table name like suppose I'm going to run this but this will give you an error right so before the table name I have to put the database name this way okay then we can access the tables easily now we will run this query again and we will get the results great also when you get this grid with the data inside the cell you can edit the values as well simply just do the double click and add whatever the data you want to modify that's it and this will be saved quickly okay fine okay now suppose you don't want to use the name of the database simply and uh, you want to work on any database so before going to hit any query simply type a command use and give the database name hit enter and then the schema the database will be active for use now you can write the further queries on that database let's see i want to access the ct data so i have executed this query and we got the results here ct table data reflected here in this tabular format right i hope you guys understood this thing okay friends now we will see how to interact the database from the command prompt right so the second way to activate the mysql command prompt so we have to go to the installation location this way when you go inside the bin folder type cmd and see this we are inside here let's type mysql space hyphen u root space hyphen p presenter here we have to give the admin password right so now we are logged in as a root user right so here we inside the mysql command prompt if you want to check the command simply you can type backslash h and you will get the this these details about the commands okay if you want to connect the server you can simply type backslash r hit enter then you will find the connection id and the database is none because we have not selected any database right now if you want to choose the database like you want to use database you want to target any database so we have to first type the command before running the select query on any database here in this command prompt so now the first thing we have to do let's check how many databases we have just type show database and put semicolon right don't forget to put semicolon so you can see we have these databases right let's suppose you want to use any database type use sakila enter and now you are inside the sakila database right and you want to check the tables simply type show tables put semicolon enter right then you will see 23 tables are there in this sakila database okay now suppose you want to query on this database table simply type the query with the semicolon hit enter this way and you will get the results in the tabular format see this so table data is present here so you can explore the data in the command prompt as well so friends we have seen the installation of the mysql server on windows 11 i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and please subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool ID help.